Hello friends. Today we're under the nav station, uh, changing out our isolation transformer. So this is the isolation transformer we originally purchased uh, that failed on install. And this is the new isolation transformer uh, that I have just hung on the bracket. Getting ready to uh, hang the retrenchin screws and then we'll get started on wiring and setting it up. We are going step by step through the manual and double checking everything as we go. As you can see, we're in step two, uh, where we connect the shore and the boat to the isolation transformer. Uh, so we have wired those in. We've got the shore side here and the boat side here. All the terminals are all tightened down and we're gonna move on to the next step. Now here we have ours configured for uh, 115 output or 120 output. Uh, some of you may have a different type of isolation transformer that you have to set the input as well. Um, ours uses these relays here. It's an automatic switching transformer. Uh, so if we have 230 on the shore power, it will automatically transfer it over to 120. Um, it will not change the hertz though, so uh, we do still have to watch out for the hertz. Okay, so we have everything connected on the new transformer. We've got our shore side in, we've got our boat side out. Uh, we've got our settings to set for the 115 output or 120 output, um, our GFCI jumper and our, because we're in the yard, our shore uh, ground and boat ground jumper. Um, in the water, this will actually be disconnected here and connected to the isolation. Uh, bridge there. Uh, so everything looks good. We're gonna try and fire this up and see how it goes. Okay friends, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it pops the breaker this time. So far so good. Let's check the isolation transformer. That is awesome. Okay, so the green light's on. That means it's actually on and the 115 light is on. Uh, so that's on too. So we're going to turn everything off, get the cover on, and then start turning on the rest of the system and make sure everything's playing nice. Okay. Test two. We're going to turn it back on. Breaker did not trip. Okay, we've got our green on light and our 115 light. So we're now going to flip the breaker for the inverter. Now giving power to the inverter, but the inverter is switched on at the nav station. So now we'll go up top and turn the nav station on. Okay, so we're gonna turn the battery main for the inverter. And we're going to turn the inverter to on. Currently have the Current limit set pretty low. Take that up to 14. Okay, mains are on and the charger's turned on. Everything is looking good. I'm gonna do one more switch to turn the um, 120 system on at the breaker. Okay, so we've got the inverter working, the isolation transformer is working, and now we've just got to turn on the safety breakers for the boat. Uh, so this is the inverter. And we've got power. So now I feel way more confident and vindicated uh, that the isolation transformer was indeed faulty. Um, I've tested everything on our side of the system and kept coming back with everything testing just fine. And as we can see with the replacement inverter, it's working just great. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish the return process on uh, this inverter so they can send it back to Victron and figure out what is not working with it. Um, yay, this is, this is huge. This is a, a good day. <laughs> well, nice when a project finally comes together. Wanted to thank you all for joining us for another project video. Uh, please leave a comment down below and remember to like and subscribe. Be kind to yourself this week and we'll see you soon.